question. KU had a monster running back room last fall, but lost Daniel yeah. Hyshaw to an injury early on. Yeah, well now he's back from injury, and I sat down with Hyshaw this week to learn why he was off the field for so long and how he's kept his mind in the game. Coming off a hip injury, you previously had injured your other hip as well. Just how are you feeling now? Like me. Nice. Well, how has your different. good? How has your recovery been from this injury? Uh, it's been good. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, it was like a month it took me to get back running and all that. You know what I'm saying? I, I got hurt in October when I was practicing in December. But you know, I didn't go to the ball game, but I still wanted to just make sure like I can do all that stuff. And you know, I still was. I was doing everything I was doing before. Good. So what was everything in the meantime that was going on that kept you off the field for longer than just a month? Uh, basically, I dislocated my hip, just had surgery on it. And really, I was supposed to be not running or nothing for like three, four months. But I was running a month after, really like three weeks after. How was that recovery different from the previous time you had injured your other hip? Man, it wasn't different. I'd say the most different part of it was probably uh, when I got hurt, I could feel it shifting around like before I had surgery, like because my bone was floating in there. And so like, I think that was the biggest part, but like since it was both in my hips, like it was kind of almost like the same pain, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And uh, the rehab wasn't too much different, you know? The surgery I had the first time before, that was like a rare injury. So like the rehab was like kind of basic stuff because they was kind of seeing like what I need to do, mm -hmm. like what? Like, cause the doctor didn't see that in 30 years. He said I was the second person he ever seen do that. So yeah, but the dislocated hip, that's just the second week in, that's when everything just was like, I wouldn't say comfortable, but like I was comfortable with the pain all the way. And it wasn't like I was walking normal without the limp and all that stuff. Okay, that's good to hear. Yeah. And before that happened in that season, you had more than 260 yards already. You had five touchdowns on the ground alone. How are you kind of preparing this summer to have that same start this next season? Same way we prepare every year, you know what I'm saying? But also I'm trying to stay like more intentional on like the little things, like little muscles. Everybody can squat, bench, but it's like the eccentric stuff that mm -hmm. you have to do to make sure your muscles maintain. And that's what I'm trying to do right now. Yeah, and the running backs at KU are pretty involved in the pass game as well. Just how has your practice kind of changed or how does it revolve around that to help you get better in that area? This coaching staff has put us in the best position to be at the next level. The passing routes and putting us in there and trying to make us do that. And like even in the meetings, like we're trying to learn receiver routes. Like we're not, they're not trying to make us just running backs. And that's just not just for us here. That's for the next level too. So I think they really put us in the best position to just be good at those type of things, but it's definitely helping me a lot. Wasn't expecting me all the time to be split out wide or practicing that stuff, but mm -hmm. we know we all can do it, so it's great. And do you have a favorite spot to run on the field? Are you a seams guy? Are you a sideline guy? Do you not have a favorite spot? No, it's just trying to run the ball, trying to score. And how does your approach kind of change on third and fourth down when you're called to be that guy? You got to get it. So basically, you just got to it's got to be a quicker reaction than before. You can't just be sitting on your toes and all that. And maybe first, second down, you might have seen a hole that you could try to get loose on. But fourth down is fourth and one. You don't need to get loose. You need to get in there. So yeah. mm -hmm. New Big 12 this year. Is there a game that you are kind of looking forward to or a new opponent? All of them. I'm trying to see all of them. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you.